Hello, my name is Fatima and I'm here today to present Communications and Dissemination for Energy Storage. So, if we look at the key objectives for communications, in the energy sector, communication and dissemination play a critical role in encouraging industry collaboration, policy support, public understanding and technology adoption. Increasing public awareness of that role that energy storage plays in the shift to clean energy is one of the main goals. This entails teaching communities, companies and consumers about the role that energy storage plays in grid stability, sustainability and the integration of renewable energy sources. Public campaigns, educational initiatives and the development of easily comprehensible, easily accessible content for audiences without technical expertise are examples of effective strategies. Encouraging knowledge of energy storage's advantages is essential to accelerating its uptake and integration into the energy storage system. Improving the dissemination of knowledge to both technical and non-technical audiences is essential for closing knowledge gaps and making sure that stakeholders from various industries understand the importance of energy storage. This endeavour is strengthened even more by promoting cross-industry collaborations from, industry, from energy providers to legislators to tech developers. In the end, these programmes help the market accept energy storage solutions by coordinating the interests of different stakeholders and encouraging a common dedication to a sustainable energy future. So, if we look at the next slide, we need to see what exactly is communication and dissemination. Communication is the process of exchanging information, ideas or messages between individuals or groups using various mediums such as speaking, writing or technology. It entails both sending and receiving information with the intention of achieving mutual understanding or conveying a message. Dissemination, on the other hand, is the targeted distribution of information or knowledge to a specific audience or the general public. While communication frequently implies an interactive exchange, Dissemination is more concerned with disseminating information widely and effectively to ensure it reaches its intended audience. Both are essential for knowledge sharing, collaboration and gaining influence or impact. So, why is communications important in energy storage? We need to look at public understanding and awareness. This helps simplify complex energy storage technologies, marking more, their benefits as more understanding to the general public. Stakeholder engagement. This is essential for informing and involving key stakeholders, such as policymakers, investors, industry and local communities. Promoting adoption. Clear communication accelerates the uptake of energy storage solutions by demonstrating their real world applications and advantages. Influencing policy regulation. Effective communication educates policymakers on the benefits leading to supportive policies, funding and incentives. Building public trust. Transparent communication allows trust, especially concerning safety, sustainability and reliability of energy storage systems. Driving collaboration. This encourages the collaboration between research institutions, industry and government, boosting innovation and implementation. Supporting climate and energy goals. Communicates the role of energy storage in achieving climate targets and integrating renewable energy into the grid. So now we need to look at why dissemination 
is critical for energy storage. Dissemination is critical for energy storage because it also raises awareness, encourages adoption and influences policy. Stakeholders, including policymakers, investors and consumers, can better understand the importance of energy storage if the benefits are effectively communicated. These benefits include improving grid reliability, integrating renewable energy and lowering costs. This helps close that knowledge gap, accelerates the adoption of new technologies and ensures that regulatory frameworks evolve to support widespread deployment. Without effective dissemination, energy storages technologies may struggle to gain the support and investment required for that widespread impact. Now we need to look at dissemination for exploitation how dissemination leads to the exploitation of results. Effective dissemination is critical to ensuring that research findings are not only communicated, but also actively used. This leads to results of exploitation. Dissemination increases the visibility of results through targeted communication tactics, introducing innovations to key audiences, such as businesses, legislators, and investors. This focused interaction encourages teamwork and establishes the project's legitimacy and highlights its business's potential. Furthermore, dissemination is critical for influencing standards and policies, which can create an environment favorable to market adoption. Furthermore, highlighting achievements and useful applications when disseminating information generates interest and encourages collaboration. Dissemination of knowledge in, ensures that innovate, innovations are embraced, commercialized, and used to propel future development by facilitating the translation of research findings into practical applications. Now, if we look at some of the key communication strategies, we should look at defining our target audience. For example, policymakers, industry, academia, and general public would be the defined target audience for energy storage. We also need to look at key messages. We must obtain clear, concise, and also relatable to your audiences. Channels of communication. This includes social media, blog sites, websites, and videos, such as YouTube. A strategy can also be, as an example, how an EU energy storage project uses storytelling to engage in non-technical audiences. And the storytelling can be used within videos as well as other visual elements to provide that storytelling. Now we can look at some tools and platforms for communication and dissemination. These are critical for reaching diverse audiences and ensuring widespread adoption of energy storage technologies, digital tools such as social media, websites, webinars, and email newsletters enable broad, real-time engagement with stakeholders, whereas traditional platforms such as media outlets, conferences, and printed materials provide credibility to larger audiences. These tools allow for tailored messaging, interactive learning, and real world case sharing, ensuring that accurate and relevant information about energy storage is, is available, allowing informed decision making as well as public support. We also need to look at developing a communication slide on this next slide. So looking at a communication plan, for example, it is to create a detailed communication and dissemination plan by beginning to define specific audiences and specific goals, such as raising awareness, influencing policy, or driving adoption of energy storage technologies. You must identify your target audience, which could include policymakers, 
industry leaders, investors, communities, and consumers, and to ensure that each group receives a tailored messaging. Create key messages that address each audience's specific concerns, highlighting the advantages of energy storage, economic incentives, environmental impacts, and long-term benefits. You must also create a timeline that corresponds to project phrases, policy windows, or market opportunities, and to also set those milestones, such as a website launch or an event hosting, or a media coverage or engagement metrics. This ensures that the plan is goal oriented timely and measurable. Now, in this slide, we're going to look at the complexities in communication and dissemination and the challenges. So the complexity and novelty of energy storage technologies create communication and dissemination challenges. One major issue is the technical complexity of energy storage solutions, which can be difficult to explain to non-expert stakeholders, such as policymakers, investors, and general public. This creates barriers to so comprehending the advantages, potential, and limitation of very various technologies, such as batteries, thermal storage, and pumped hydro. Furthermore, disseminating reliable information is complicated by rapidly evolving innovations, which result in the sharing of outdated and inconsistent data. Overcoming misinformation and skepticism, particularly in areas such as uh, the environmental impact, the cost, it can be another barrier in communicating. Furthermore, reaching the right audiences such as utilities, governments, and communities, requires more customized messaging and communication strategies that effectively can connect the dots between technical details and practical everyday issues. So clear communications, trust, and engagement are critical for widespread adoption and support of energy storage solutions. So how do we overcome these challenges? We need to first look at how to simplify the content. Simplifying complex concepts with clear non-technical language, visual aids and relatable analogies is crucial to overcoming communication dissemination challenges, such as translating technical results to non-expert audiences and addressing stakeholder engagement. So bridging the knowledge gap between experts and the general public can also be accomplished in part by customizing the messages for various audiences and emphasizing the benefits over technical details. Allowing ongoing involvement involves involving stakeholders early on through co-creation or interactive tools such as webinars or in-person demonstrations or regular updates. Sustaining engagement also requires utilizing a variety of communication channels, giving concrete examples of impact and acknowledging the contributions of stakeholders. So look at some, looking at some of the best practices, working together and collaborating with important stakeholders is extremely important. Energy storage is a shared responsibility that affects many industries not just technical. This implies we must actively involve public, businesses, researchers, and policymakers. Cross-sector cooperation also allows us to coordinate efforts and resources and spread awareness. Involving local communities and business leaders, for instance, not only increasing not only increases support for storage initiatives, but also guarantees that the messaging is appropriate and understandable to a variety of audiences. Empirical case studies and collaborative achievements can function as a potent instrument for communication, demonstrating to interested parties the potential of teamwork. 
Also, establishing trust requires accuracy and transparency when communicating energy storage. Energy storage must present both advantages and difficulties that we must recognize. Being open and honest about any technical constraints, such as scalability, while demonstrating continuous innovation, which supports our credibility. Furthermore, it is crucial that we give and support our arguments with credible data and research. Giving stakeholders valid information in an understandable man manner increases their trust in the solutions that we are offering and communicating. Lastly, communication efforts need to be continuously monitored and adjusted. The exchange of ideas is dynamic. Feedback must be gathered, whether by means of a survey, social media, analytics, or face-to-face -face communication with stakeholders. This feedback loop is very beneficial because it enables us to make the necessary adjustments to our tactics and messaging, as well as to improve them. We can continuously enhance our outreach efforts by monitoring what works and what doesn't work, ensuring that we are attending the concerns, responding to inquiries and maintaining alignment with our stakeholder needs. And finally, through working together, we can encourage more knowledge and trust by working with appropriate stakeholders. And together, we can make these initiatives the best practices. So we now must look at communication and dissemination within the stories project and how some of these best practices are applied. So we currently have an EU projects website and an EU projects website is essential for communication because it acts as a sort of central hub for information sharing, stakeholder engagement and transparency promotion. It makes research results, accomplishments and project updates easily available to a wide range of people including partners, policymakers, and the general public. A well-designed website improves visibility, encourages cooperation by giving partners a place to share resources and facilities by offering reports, videos, and event details for a download. Furthermore, it ensures that the project's impact and results are widely communicated and acknowledged through Europe and beyond helping to meet the EU dissemination requirements. Posting news on a website is also essential for communi communication because it informs stakeholders of a project or organization's most recent accomplishments, milestones and developments. Frequent updates allows engagement and transparency, which helps to develop audience trust. Significant events, partnerships, research findings, or any policy changes can be highlighted in news articles, which can pique the reader's interest and encourage more participation. News sections on websites also increase their visibility in search results, drawing in more users and stakeholders. They are also a great source of information for media outlets, and it can help any organization's reputation by highlighting its accomplishments and contributions to the industry. With all things considered, Regular news sharing encourages community involvement and establishes the organization as a leader in the field. So we now look at social media. And because social media offers a dynamic platform for real time engagement with diverse audiences, it is also essential for the communication. Social media sites such as Twitter and LinkedIn expands visibility, reach, enabling businesses to swiftly and effectively distribute content, insights and updates. Organisations can engage with stakeholders directly through social media, promoting communication and establishing communi connections that contribute to a feeling of community. Additionally, it makes it easier to share multimedia content, such as infographics and videos, which improves accessibility and engagement with information. Furthermore, Messages can be amplified on social media by being shared and retweeted, which increases the possibility of a wider distribution and reaches audiences 
who might not be interested in traditional communication channels. In today's digital environment, social media is a crucial tool for increasing brand awareness, stimulating engagement and enabling prompt communication. Here is also another example of a story social media site, which is also LinkedIn. And if we go to the next slide, we can also see some examples of LinkedIn posts that can be shared effectively to inform others about opportunities, events happening within the project. We also like to measure results within the project. As social media measurement is essential because it sheds light on the efficacy of communication strategies and audience involvement. Project managers can easily assess the effectiveness of their content and modify their strategies by monitoring metrics like reach, impressions, engagement rates and audience demographics. By identifying the most effective messages and formats, this data-driven analysis facilitates more wise resource allocations. Project teams can also showcase the success and relevance of their work by demonstrating to funders and stakeholders that they are accountable and have an impact on the project by measuring its social media results. By spotting patterns and feedbacks, it also helps with ongoing improvement, which eventually raises the project's profile and increases the efficacy in accomplishing its goals within the EU framework. We also have a Stories newsletter and within Stories and EU projects, it is essential to have a newsletter for a number of reasons. This is to inform partners, stakeholders and the general public about project developments, milestones and results. It first acts as a direct communication channel. By offering updates on ongoing projects, important milestones and upcoming events, regular newsletters promote a sense of community among stakeholders and help sustain engagement and interest. Secondly, newsletters can be a useful tool for highlighting research results, best practices and success stories, all of which can demonstrate the project's relevance to EU goals and its impact. This raises awareness and encourages knowledge exchange among various communities and sectors. Furthermore, by promoting participation and feedback and establishing a two-way communication channel, a newsletter can also support the development and maintenance of relationships between audiences. Lastly, newsletters are an effective means of increasing awareness and drawing in new partners or participants, thereby broadening the project's impact and research through the EU. We also have a YouTube channel, and this goes back to my um, point of uh, storytelling. These videos are useful tools for a more visual communication and for communicating energy storage because they do combine animations, graphics and demonstrations as well as real world examples to show how various storage systems work. Complex uh, processes can be made into simpler, more visual content for better understanding by using animations and infographics. The YouTube uh, page can also be used uh, for upcoming webinars and workshops on demand uh, in case they were missed. And this allows for a more visual understanding uh, of how energy storage systems work. Now, we can now look at the conclusion of the slides. So in conclusion, the communication and dissemination efforts for EU energy storage projects underscore the importance of connecting technical advancements to public understanding and policy impact. By employing strategies such as clear messaging, engaging with stakeholders across sectors, by using a variety of communication tools from social media and newsletters to real world demonstrations, the project aims to foster widespread adoption of energy storage technologies. Effective communication not only enhances public trust, but it also aligns stakeholders around a common goal and supports regulatory frameworks, drives market adoption as well. 
this approach that the project's outcomes are widely recognized and utilized musicians contribute to sustainable energy goals, thereby maximizing the impact on and longevity of innovations. Thank you very much.